graders, it's Ashley from the Nature Center, and I am excited to be here with you guys today to do another Monarchs on the Move activity. So what we're going to do in your class today is we're actually going to do an experiment to see if the Monarch caterpillars prefer different types of milkweed. So just like some of you may prefer regular milk, some of you may prefer chocolate milk, some of you may even like strawberry milk, but it's all milk, we're going to see if there are different types of milkweed that our caterpillars prefer. So here in Dickinson County, we are lucky enough to have four different species of milkweed. So what we're going to do is I want you guys to pretend that you're a caterpillar. I want you to examine these photos and decide which one of these milkweed plants do you think would be the best one to eat. And then I want you to go ahead and write your reasoning down on a sticky note that will be passed out to you. And then you're going to take that sticky note and you're going to put it on the plant that you want to eat. So your reasoning can be whatever you want it to be, but you do need to have at least one reason why you're choosing that plant. If you want to write more, that's fine too. So I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to pass out the sticky notes. Write your reasonings down and then go place your sticky note on the plant that you will eat. And now that we've placed our sticky notes on the plants, I want to talk a little bit about them. So here with my pretend class at the Nature Center, we had one student pick World Milkweed. That's this one with the white flowers and the skinny leaves. We had three students pick butterfly milkweed with the orange flowers. Two students picked swamp milkweed with these bright pink flowers. And then we had four students pick common milkweed, which is this one here with the lighter pink and the really big leaves. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these sticky notes and we're going to make a bar graph on our whiteboard to kind of display our data a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. You and your teacher are going to go ahead and do that in your classroom and then we'll meet back here in a couple minutes. Alright third graders, so now I've made this graph. We have our world milkweed, our butterfly milkweed, our swamp milkweed, and our common milkweed. And this is just another way that we can visualize our data that we gathered. So now we can see exactly how many students picked each milkweed leaf. And now what we're going to do is I want you guys to come up with a hypothesis or a prediction. So if we were to actually do this experiment, which we are going to do, um, which type of milkweed do you think the caterpillar is going to choose to eat? So come up with a hypothesis. And then we will go ahead and feed, we're going to do three caterpillars. We're going to give all four leaves of milkweed to three different caterpillars. And then over the course of the next week, we'll see which one the caterpillar prefers. But first, make those hypotheses. Here I have my monarch caterpillar. This one's about two weeks old. And we're going to go ahead and feed the different kinds of leaves to him. So the first one, here I have some um, world milkweed. So this, these leaves are pretty small, so I'm going to give them a few. Next we have our butterfly milkweed. So I'll throw maybe two or three of these in there. Then we have our swamp milkweed. These leaves are a little bigger, so I'll just put one. And then lastly, our common milkweed. So you guys are going to do this in your classroom as well. And then I am very excited to hear about what you guys discover and what you find out and if there is in fact a preference in which kind of milkweed plant caterpillars enjoy eating. So have fun in your classrooms and I will see you guys next time. Bye.